This is getting to be absurd. How much longer must we pretend? My daughter wails in disappointment, and our two families verge on coming to blows. There's nothing to be done for it. The groom is not coming. Pretend. We do not know. Kaznar may be among those who recently went missing. Or he simply changed his mind. He is a forebear after all. I warned her. Crowns and forebears should not mix. Now everyone is angry. She must call off the wedding. Tiela is like a Doom Ripper in a sandstorm. She buries her head to hide from the truth. Perhaps you can help. I must stay here. But someone needs to speak to Kaznar's brother. Unless he can explain things. My daughter has agreed to give up. I am most grateful for your help. Kaznar's brother Ine will be at his market stall. The wedding offended him so greatly he had refused to attend. Whether he knows what happened to Kaznar or not, let us hope we can soon put the matter to rest. I hope he's not missing, but we must consider the possibility. Many people have disappeared, and the young man doesn't show up for his own wedding? For his sake, I hope he simply changed his mind. With the young man, the blood runs hot. He may have found another woman. Or it could be that he realized the foolishness of the idea. His family does not support the marriage either. His brother was not even planning to attend. For a crown to marry a forebear? In Sentinel, this may happen. But in Bergama? It is unheard of. For generations, our family's allegiances have not changed. If these two marry, whatever allegiance they choose, they will offend half the city. Ha! Oh yes. I'm sure King Faharajad would like that very much. For crowns and forebears to settle our differences while he is in power. This would mean Faharajad's line would have everlasting legitimacy. I cannot support that. You... You're going to speak to Ine? Thank you. I just pray that there is some explanation for this. If Kaznar is dead, I don't think I can go on. I knew Kaznar was having doubts, but if he decided to back out, he should have at least sent word. To put his bride through this is just cruel. Poor Tiela. <sighs> Welcome to Bergama, Wayfarer. We have the finest musical instruments in all Hammerfell. If you want a harp, a lute, or even a drum, you have come to the right place. Though that is not why you are here, is it? Kaznar? That's a sore subject. Believe it or not, he's actually getting married today. Should be at the wedding right now. I know, I know, I should be there, but I'm not. He's not? <laughs> well... I'll be a lizard's uncle. I guess our little talk may have convinced him after all. We all went out drinking last night, and my cousin and I made one last attempt to talk him out of it. I guess it worked. Damn. I don't know. I would have expected him to tell me if he had made such a decision. With so many people missing lately, I prefer to make sure. He should be at my cousin's house, the last one before the West Gate. Will you check? The more I think about it, the more this concerns me, if you find my brother, tell him to come speak with me. If he doesn't come soon, I'm going to close up shop and help you search. You must understand, I love my little brother, but he is so naive. He shouldn't associate with a crown girl, let alone marry her. Our father, Tuwaka, keep his soul, would never have approved. So I cannot approve either. Of course I do, but... I cannot disrespect our father's memory. None of this matters, though. Right now, all that matters is Kaznar's safety. 
I will approve the marriage before I see him harmed. and just walk into people's houses and snoop around upstairs? If my cousin were here, he might not be so friendly. Me? I don't care. I don't really care about anything at this point. I don't know, maybe because there are armed thugs out there with orders to break my kneecaps if I try to leave? If I thought I could get past them, I'd make a run for it, but they'd catch me. It would be pointless. Ask Tiela's father. He's the one who hired them. Paid Uncle Thack to make sure I don't get to the wedding. Jagness has been against our marriage from the beginning. I don't know why I thought he would come around. <laughs> of course. He wants Tiela to think I stood her up. She'll hate me for the rest of her life and think he was right all along. The bastard. If my father were alive, he'd beat the oblivion out of Jagness. Of course. That would only make things worse. Don't bother. If he went to this much trouble, he won't change his mind. If you really want to help, there's only one way. You'll have to talk to Uncle Thak. Uncle Thak and his gang run the streets here in Bergama. They're not above the law, but they can be dangerous. If you can convince Uncle Thak to let me out, I'll go to the wedding. Jagness won't be able to say a thing. Must I suffer so? You're going to brave my wrath? Ah, well met. Very well met indeed. Allow me to welcome you to the Winking Jackal. If you should need anything, feel free to call out. Or, you know, throw something. That seems customary here. Ah, the hero Look of Look at Cobra this, you Village. walk in like you own the place. Like you fear absolutely nothing. If it's a fight you want, though, you've come to the wrong place. This is a place of business. I'm a businessman. Kaznar? Why doesn't Kaznar come talk to me himself? Oh, yes, I remember. He prefers the indoors. Probably better that way. Yes, Kaznar needs to stay at home. Or do you take issue with that? Slow down now. No need to be rude. Like I said, I'm a businessman. Truth is, I didn't much like the deal I had with Jagnus anyways. You'll owe me a favor, but I'll give him a refund, and your boy can get married whenever he likes. My people wouldn't have really hurt the kid anyways. Kaznar and Tiela make a nice couple. In fact, if you'll do me that favor we discussed, I'll have my men escort Kaznar right up to the altar. Get them a gift. Some hag's breath. It's an aphrodisiac. They might not be able to walk for a few days, but it'll make the wedding night unforgettable. There's an old hag in the desert, Viani. Kill her and bring her hag's breath to the wedding. The wine selection here isn't all that impressive, but at least they have some bottles from the Hagaith vineyards. All you get in the inn is cactus pear cordials, at twice the price to boot. Glad you made it in time. We are just about to begin the ceremony. Kasner told me everything, and knowing what you have done, you are the guest of honor. Oh goodness, 
Hag's breath. What a special gift. Thank you. Thank you both. Please, you must stay for the ceremony. It would mean so much to Kaznar and to me. This marriage would not have been possible without you. People of Bergama, we are gathered here today to witness the bond of marriage between Kaznar and Tiela. Their union marks a great day for the citizens of Bergama, crowns and forebears alike. Their love is a testament to the kinship that all crowns and forebears share with each other. I have to admit, when Uncle Thax's thugs came to the door, I thought they were going to kill me. One thing I know, we will certainly be able to look back at our wedding day and laugh. <laughs> yes! I can't believe it. My baby brother is getting married before me. My little boy's all grown up. I never thought this day would come. The reception better be good. I'm planning to drink my weight in grog. When I was young, I always dreamed of getting married. Can't say the idea appeals to me anymore. I always get so emotional at weddings. I can't believe we're here. Uncle Thack's getting soft in his old age. <laughs> 